Founded over 400 years ago in the reign of Queen Elizabeth I, the East India Company rose to dominate global commerce and govern much of the British Empire. It became the world's largest trader in gold and silver and even minted its own currency. The company has now re-emerged as a luxury goods business. And with its historic links to the British monarchy and the bullion trade, it has unveiled what are believed to be the most precious products created to celebrate Queen Elizabeth II's Diamond Jubilee. The company has minted 60 pure gold and 60 pure silver coin-shaped kilos, one for each year of the Queen's reign. Each is encrusted with over a hundred diamonds cut to the highest precision and finished to the most exacting standards. It's a very special occasion. It deserves a special treatment. Therefore, we decided to produce a coin which will last beyond our lifetime. It will become a piece of history. Given a price of £125,000 or approximately $200,000 for each gold kilo, they are set to appeal to well-off collectors, monarchists and investors, all of whom will recognise the potential for their value increasing as a rare and collectible item and as an investment in precious metal. The occasion like this is not going to come back again in our lifetime. Each of these pieces, there are only 60 of them, which according to us would rise in value substantially over time. Therefore, every curator, every collector and every connoisseur globally would be our customer. The unveiling of the kilos also revives a historic partnership that began over 200 years ago when the Royal Mint first minted coins for the East India Company. But the East India Company is now very much looking ahead with ambitious plans for growth in the luxury sector. Our next step is that we are launching a house of fashion of the East India Company. We are launching East India Company Gin. We are then following up a collection of jewellery. We are then launching home furniture and home products. We are pretty busy in taking the East India Company across many parts of the world. And we believe that the world deserves a luxury brand which has got Eastern face and a Western face. If the reborn East India Company's growth takes off in the 21st century like it did from the 17th century, Similar ultra-exclusive investment opportunities will be something we are likely to see much more of from this, one of the world's great trading names.